What is up, YouTube? I've got a very short teaser slash trailer slash announcement. I don't know what to call it. I don't make the rules. I'm just the guy that makes YouTube videos. So without further ado, I'd like to move on to the part of the video where I actually tell you things instead of this transition. Nice. Okay, we're releasing NVIM 0.7 in about two weeks after this video drops. So that should be April 15th. Hopefully we're going to be, and we're currently planning on doing a release stream as we've done for the past few releases on my stream, twitch.tv slash teach underscore DV, where we'll be able to talk to the people who made some of these features or who really love them or other core ma maintainers so that we can just have a really great time and hang out with the community. I hope to see you there. The things that I'm really excited about for this release are that this release really feels like we're starting to eliminate and really make it so that you can be inside of Lua the whole time. You don't need to keep on shelling out to vim.command all over the place, but we're moving all of the vim isms, right? These idioms like auto commands, key maps, commands, color schemes, all of those are getting moved fully into the Lua space. And a lot of these excitingly are also improving our remote API. So I've talked about it a little bit, but like for Lua auto commands, it's not just that you can make auto commands in Lua. You can actually also make those auto commands via the RPC now. So that improves GUIs or other users of NeoVim that don't want to basically string interpolate into VimScript, which is really exciting and makes me really happy. So with all that, we've got a few other features I will probably talk about there. They're all listed in the Discord link, that discourse link that I'll post below. And I hope you have fun testing out NeoVim 0.7, playing around and hanging out with the community. I know that I love all of you and I'm excited to see you there. Uh, with that, we'll see you later.